Hello viewers, I am Mr. Himadri Sekhar Datta, working as assistant professor in College of Horticulture Nalbari under Assam Agriculture University Jorhat. So today I'll be through this live video showing about the pre-planting technologies in banana. Banana is one of the important fruit crop in India. Its year-round availability, affordability and nutritive value and medicinal value makes it the favorite fruit among all classes of people and has good export potential. Banana is a tropical crop and can be cultivated on a wide range of soil starting from clay to sandy acidic to alkaline soil. Banana requires moderately deep soil with adequate drainage but soil should have good water holding capacity. Some of the important cultivars of banana are Jahaji, Malbhuk, Bor Jahaji, Bhimkal, Kachkal, Nendran, etc. India produces about 30 million tons of banana from an area of 0.83 million hectares. For getting maximum yield and to improve quality of fruit, various improved techniques are used in banana. For profitable cultivation of banana, it becomes essential to choose the appropriate technology. Selection of short suckers and sucker treatment in banana are important pre-planting technologies for improved production in banana. A sucker is a shoot that develops from a lateral bud on the rhizome and emerges from the soil usually near the parent plant and have been used as planting material. There are two types of suckers, short suckers and water suckers. Water suckers possess broad leaves and do not produce healthy banana clumps. It takes more time for yielding and also yield is less. On the other hand, short suckers have a well-developed base with pointed, narrow, needle-shaped leaves at the early stages. It takes less time for yielding and gives bigger bunches. So short suckers from healthy and high yielding mother plants are recommended for planting in the field. Criteria for selection of suckers for banana planting. Firstly, the mother block should be healthy one without any incidence of pest and diseases. Secondly, the sucker should be of around 1.5 to 2.5 kg of weight. Thirdly, the sucker should be of around 3 to 4 months age. And lastly, we should go for selection of short suckers in banana cultivation. Planting is generally done in pits. Before planting of the short sucker in the field, pre-planting technologies like pairing and preliness are adopted for input production of banana. We will be selecting healthy short sucker and uproot them with corn. Pairing process involves removal of older leaves, roots, adhered and other particles on the surface of rhizome. We will be pairing the planting material by trimming away necrotic lesions. We will give a slanting cut to the pseudo stem about 30 cm above the base of the sucker. Preliness is done with 40 grams of fluent sulfon 2GR granules per sucker. At first, we will dip the corn in slurry solution containing 4 parts clay plus 5 parts water. Then we will sprinkle 40 grams of fluent sulfon 2GR granules on the deep portion and set dry before planting. Hot water treatment of banana suckers is also done to eliminate nematodes and banana weevils. Trimming of all the roots and cutting of 1 cm of tissue around the comb until the clean white tissue is visible. Immersion of the trimmed comb in the hot water bath at 50 to 55 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes is done. In firm situations where there is no thermometer, the suckers can be dipped in boiling water for half minute.
Prior to planting, the land is ploughed two to four times and leveled. Soil is brought to a fine tilt during soil preparation. Generally, planting is done in pits during the month of March to May. Planting of the short suckers are done at recommended spacing of 1.8 meter into 1.8 meter for dwarf cultivars, 2.1 meter into 2.1 meter for medium tall, and 2.4 meters into 2.4 meters for tall cultivars. However, for high density planting, the spacing will be different. Pit size of 45 cm depth, 45 cm breadth, and 45 cm length are made one month before planting. At planting type, 12 kg farmed manure should be applied per pit. Planting should be done by planting the treated suckers in the center of the pit and placing the soil properly and tightly pressing around the base of the plant. At the time of planting, we apply around 10 to 12 kg of farmyard manure per pit and the chemical fertilizers are applied at the recommended dose after third and fifth month of planting. Dear viewers, thank you so much for watching this live video. If you have got any queries, please feel free to post in the comment box. Thank you. Hello viewers, I am Dr. Pritam Kumar Bhattakur, Professor in the Department of Horticulture. Through this live video, I am going to show the different methods of propagation by using cutting and layering. Now you know this cutting is a separation of a portion from the mother plant and planting it in a medium suitably so that it develops into a new plant successfully in stormless cutting. So here what we do, we detach a portion from the mother plant and grow the stem in the nursery and in the nursery it produces new shoot and the root and it acts as an individual plant. So it can be used as a propagating material. So cuttings are divided into four types. It is depending on the source of origin from where we have collected the cuttings are divided into four types. It is either the stem cutting, root cutting, leaf cutting and leaf bud cutting. The stem cuttings are also four types. Uh, for example, the hardwood cutting, semi-hardwood cutting, softwood cutting and the herbaceous cutting. Now we come to layering. Layering is a method of propagation where a portion of the plant is induced to produce advantageous roots while it is still attached to the mother plant. There are broadly six methods of layering. They are air layering, simple layering, tip layering, mold layering, trench layering and serpentine layering. Out of the various methods of propagation by layering, the most commonly used method is air layering. So I shall be discussing the method of propagation by air layering and various methods of propagation by cutting in details. Now let's start with hardwood cutting. For hardwood cutting, the selection of shoot is very, very important. It should be fully mature, one to two years of old stem and uh, it should uh, contain a sufficient amount of carbohydrates. Now, uh, during photosynthesis, the leaves produces uh, the carbohydrate and these carbohydrates are stored in the stem. So when we make the cutting, we remove the uh, stem from the mother plant and it is planted in the nursery. Now, when we cut the plant, uh, or cut the stem, then what happens is that the supply of nutrients uh, to the stem is suddenly stopped. But for survival, they need the food. Right? Therefore, here whatever stored food is there, that is uh, stored in the stem uh, to, uh, photo, during photosynthesis are utilized to support the tissue till the stem produces its own root and the shoot in the nursery. So this uh, amount, the uh, stored carbohydrate content should be very high and in the uh, mature, fully mature lignified stem, 
the carbohydrate content is always very high. Now uh, for this uh, hardwood cutting, the length of the stem, uh, the cut should be about uh, 10 to 30 centimeter depending upon the uh, type of plant or uh, type of crop and the thickness should be about, uh, uh, about uh, uh, 1.5 to 2.5 centimeter uh, in thickness. So depending upon the uh, type of the crop that we are selecting. Now after that, we make a cut about uh, 1, 1 cm to 1.5 or 2 cm above the node. And then another, the lower cut is given just below a node. Then we have this stem, then uh, it has got a lot of carbohydrates stored in it. Then what we do, we uh, put this uh, uh, lower portion of the stem in serodex or rutex it is a hormone IBA it contains IBA it is a rooting hormone then we put this stem in the uh, hormone and then we put it in the in the nursery so this landing cut should be downward and the uh, the horizontal cut should be upward so we should make uh, the difference no this uh, lower side should be at the lower side the upper side should be kept up Otherwise, if we rotate it, then no uh, rooting will take place. So this we should keep in mind. So we should give a slightly cut at the base and the top, it should be horizontal cut at the top so that during, you know, when we put it into the nursery, uh, this orientation is good. Otherwise, uh, no rooting will take place. So this is about hardwood cutting. Now I come to uh, semi hardwood cutting. So these uh, semi hardwood cuttings are taken from say partially mature slight or fully mature slightly woody shoots that are of uh, current season growth this year's growth it is taken and uh, this uh, semi hardwood cutting is generally practiced in assam lemon now in assam lemon what we do cuttings are usually prepared from fully mature stem uh, the size of the cutting is say 18 to 20 centimeter in length with a thickness of uh, say lead pencil now the lower uh, leaves are generally removed and a few uh, leaves at the upper portion is retained or if the leaves are larger then trimming of the leaves is are done otherwise uh, there will be loss of moisture from the uh, cut stem so the stem may wilt so uh, this uh, all the leaves should not be retained only few numbers of leaves should be retained now this uh, the upper cut is made one centimeter above the node and the lower cut close below the node in a slanting manner before planting the cutting in the nursery bed, the uh, base of the uh, cutting should be treated with the rooting hormone, uh, say rutex, and then it is planted in the nursery bed. So the cuttings are planted uh, at a spacing of 30 cm into 30 cm in a slanting uh, position. And the nursery bed is made with a measurement of uh, 30 cm into 1 meter in 10 meter. So the height of the nursery bed should be 30 cm, bed should be 1 meter and the length should be 10 meter. Bed mixture should be uh, 1 is to 1 is to 1. So one part of the composed cow dung, one part of soil and one part of sand respectively. Uh, semi hardwood cuttings are generally practiced in uh, crops like jackfruit, lemon, rose, croton, china rose, grapes, alamanda, etc. And this uh, suitable time for taking the cutting is uh, from mid-July to early fall. semi hardwood cuttings can also be done in poly bags uh, having the same uh, media, uh, 1 is to 1 is to 1 uh, ratio of uh, cow dung, uh, soil and sand. And uh, the after uh, about uh, 4 to 8 weeks time, uh, the rooting takes place in the cutting. And when the rooting takes place, it can be planted uh, in the main field. Now we talk about softwood cutting and herbaceous cutting. The uh, method of taking cutting and planting in nursery for softwood cutting is similar to herbaceous cutting except that uh, the softwood cuttings are taken from soft succulent and non liquefied terminal shoots of some woody plants uh, such as lemon, jackfruit etc. While in herbaceous cutting, cuttings are taken from tender, soft, succulent terminal shoots of herbaceous plants like geranium, carnation, sweet potato, chrysanthemum, dahlia, coleus, etc. So in case of herbaceous cutting, shoots are taken from herbaceous plants, while in case of soft tooth cutting, the cuttings are taken from some woody perennial plants. 
Chrysanthemum are propagated by separation of suckers and uh, terminal stem cutting. Uh, just after harvesting of the flowers, uh, the suckers from the base of the plant are separated and planting of these suckers are done in the month of February. Uh, by June, the suckers have maximum uh, vegetative growth and it acts as a mother plant. Terminal stem cutting of 5 to 7 cm long are taken during June to September uh, from the mother plant. Uh, lower leaves of the cuttings are removed and the cuttings are treated with rooting hormone, right rutex, before planting in uh, propagating tray. The propagating tray is filled with a mixture containing cocoa pit plus sand and soil in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1. Uh, since the cuttings are very tender, uh, special care should be taken uh, to maintain humidity and temperature. The rooting will take place within 2 to 4 weeks. Planting of rooted cuttings for better yield and quality of flowers, it should be done uh, during July to September. The root cutting is uh, taken in the uh, plants uh, where naturally the suckers are produced. Now here, you know, this root cutting is taken at the actively uh, at the dormant stage when uh, the plants are at the dormant stage. At that time, the carbohydrate content in the roots is very high. For example, our late early spring uh, and also uh, late winter and uh, early winter. Uh, the, it is not at the actively growing stage, therefore a lot of carbohydrates is there in the root. So these carbohydrates help in the production of new uh, shoot and the root in the root cutting. For this root cutting, uh, we uh, uh, make out the sections of the root about 2 to 3 cents in uh, length and then uh, they are put in polythene bags. Uh, we should be careful that uh, about the orientation or polarity of the uh, cuttings uh, because uh, if uh, the uh, the end which is uh, towards the stem, it should be at the upper side and the lower side uh, should be kept at the down level, at the lower level. So uh, this orientation is very impart important. If we reverse it, then again uh, the rooting may not cause the shoot or root development may not take place. So this is about the uh, propagation by using the root cuttings. Now, leaf cutting. Leaves of some plants are very fleshy and thick. Such types of leaves are easily multiplied by leaf cuttings. Now, depending upon the type of leaf, whole leaf, leaf with petiole, or section of a leaf may be used. In leaf cutting, this uh, adventitious root and shoot are produced. However, uh, sometimes only roots are produced without uh, shoot and fails to produce a new seedling. Now, in leaf cutting, requires maintenance of high humidity in the nursery because a uh, lot of moisture loss is there due to evaporation. So maintenance of high humidity is very essential. In case of Kalanchi and Bryophyllum, the well-developed leaf is placed flat in the rooting media and leaf is partially covered with the media. Within a short period, new plants arise from the embryos located in the notches of the leaf margin. In case of Sensivaria, leaf cuttings of 5 to 10 cm are cut and placed vertically in the media, uh, maintaining correct polarity. Within one month, a new plant develops at the base of the leaf. Examples of plants where leaf cutting can be done are Bryophyllum, Calonche, Begonia, St. Polia, Sensivaria, etc. This is uh, uh, black pepper, a uh, variety paneer. Now this, uh, we are going to show you the leaf bud cutting in this uh, black paper. So here we have got, uh, we make the cutting using the leaf, a bud and the stem. Now here we have got the leaf, then just below the uh, petiole we have got the bud and this is the stem. Now this each, from this stem we can have large number of seedlings. Say from each uh, leaf will produce one seedling. So when there is a scarcity of uh, planting material is there, then we can go for leaf bud cutting because from a one branch we can get number of uh, seedlings from single branch. So here how to do it, we will be showing it to you. So here uh, leaving about uh, one inch from the node, the stem is cut here. So, so here, so this is uh, the stem. This is the petiole and the leaf 
and here we have got the bud. So this is called leaf bud cutting. We have got a leaf, then a bud, and the stem, a small portion of stem. The length of the stem should be about one inch. And then it is added with the uh, rootex, uh, rooting hormone. Mm -hmm. Then it is placed in the in the media uh, for growing. The media should contain about three parts of uh, soil, two parts of cow dung, and one part of sand. So this is how from single uh, leaf and the bud we can have a uh, single plant. Uh, leaf bud cutting can be uh, practiced uh, very successfully uh, for multiplying Assan lemon plants. In layering, uh, the advantageous roots are induced to form on the stem while it is still attached to the mother plant. But in case of cutting, we remove it from the, from the mother plant and then we plant in the nursery and the, in the nursery the rooting takes place. But difference with the layering is that we induce the stem to produce the root while it is still attached to the mother plant. So what we do, we generally select one to two years old shoot and then it should be about pencil thickness in size. And then what we do, after keeping a length, we remove all the stems that may be adhered, if it is, is of course clean. So we can remove all the leaves if it is there. Then what we do, we make, we remove a bark of 1.5 to 2.5 centimeter length. Mm -hmm. So here we have removed a portion of the bark, circular portion of the bark has been removed. Now why it has been done? It is because you know there is two types of vessels are there. One is your xylem vessel, the other is your phloem vessel. Now xylem vessels carries the nutrients, water from the root to the stem. Uh, to the leaves and in the leaves they produce the photosynthate and it is transferred to different parts of the plant by the phloem vessels. The xylem vessels are there to the interior side of the stem and the phloem vessels are just below the bark. Right. So when we remove the bark, it removes the phloem vessel. So what happens is that the supply of water and nutrients are there, it goes to the leaves and in the leaves they produce the photosynthesis, by photosynthesis they produce the food and these pro produced food are transferred to different parts of the plant. But because the phloem vessels are disrupted over here, so all the food matter and the hormones that are produced in the leaves, they get accumulated at this point, right? So this gets accumulated in this point. So for root formation, two things is very important. It should contain the food, carbohydrate and the hormone. And second thing is the etiolation. It should be, light should not be allowed to fall on the region where we want to have the roots, right? So what we do to obstruct the light, to create etiolated condition, we put a mud slurry over it so that no light can uh, enter into the cut portion. So when we keep it in the dark condition by uh, wrapping some soil over here, mud slurry over here, the light is obstructed as a result. Uh, this, uh, this induces the root ring hormones and they induces the root formation at this point. This is a six to eight weeks uh, layered uh, plant. So here from the external side also we can see through the polythene seed that uh, the rooting has taken place. See these uh, roots has already come up. Right? So when we find the roots or uh, after four to eight weeks uh, of the layering, uh, we, when these roots are developed, so I would like to show the roots also coming up. So here uh, the root has uh, come out. So when this uh, rooting is there, then we can separate it from the mother plant. Then it can be put in the nursery and the nursery it is kept about uh, for one year. Then it is transplanted into the main field. Through this video, you can come to know the various methods of propagation using cutting and layering. If you got any questions, you can contact me in the address given in the comment box.